You submitted your Wonder Kids, and I've assembled a crack team to try and figure out whether they are good or not, and give them a rating of from one to 10. That crack team is Lelujo. I'm, I'm waving. I don't know if I'm supposed to be speaking and waving. I'm just waving. That works. And speaking and now as well, I guess. Back from the mists of time, Dr. Benji. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's just nice to be let out. So cheers, guys. Right. So which, which teams have we been? <laughs> so I assume this is the network game revival. Do not mention the network game. So help. Oh, me. what are we here for? We're here to commemorate the first time I've ever been allowed on Zealand's channel, and I've got I've been here to babysit me. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Actually. Well, I mean, we're not going to let you here unsupervised. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I have a question for you. Are you doing something else while watching this video? Am I on another monitor? Is what you're working on just behind the video that you're watching right now? In which case. Thanks for watching the video, but I have something that may help. It's this super cool video pop-out feature that's available on Opera GX. They are the sponsor of today's video, and we thank them for that. If you didn't know it was possible to have something that was this user-friendly, where you just pop the video out and work on whatever you're working on behind it, it is, with a completely free download of a new browser that kind of changes the browser game. And that's just the beginning of cool stuff that you can do using Opera GX as your browser. It has incredible aura. Just listen to this when I open my browser. That's real neat. The songs, the noises, it's all fully customizable, but if you don't want to go through the process of doing that, there are a ton of mods in the Opera GX store, including a super cool football one. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that whistle. Oh, God, that's so loud. But if I wanted to disable that whistle every time I open a new tab, I could. If I want to turn off the music, I could. If I want to turn this stuff down, I can. It's all completely moddable even once you have the mods in place. These vibes are unmatched. I might make one with just my face behind it. The music is me singing the Lone Song. And if you're thinking, well, the only reason I don't want to move to a new browser is I've got all my bookmarks and all of my passwords and everything saved on my old browser, well, you can actually transfer those super easily using Opera. Now, you're prompted to do this once you create an account, but I already have one, so I have to go up here and click on Sync, and once I do that, I can transfer everything, including tabs that I currently have open. If you're one of those psychos that never turns off your computer. The vibes are unmatched on Opera. Check it out for free at the link in the description. And thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Kevin, hold my hand. This will be fine. Come on, then, Zealand. Let's, let's look at them. First submission is from Stinger, somebody that we actually know. They've submitted a wonder kid midfielder named Dick Gong Imchak... Well, <clears throat> You've Americanized his first name and ruined the only reason this player was submitted there. Go on. It's Dick Gang. That's, he's been submitted because his name is Dick Gang. That's the only reason. That's why he's here. Stinger's doing a funny. Do you have a rating for him or not? Kev. Is Dick Gang good? I mean, you can't expect me to go first and do it just off of attributes. Well, you decided He's got that you wanted to butt in with your correct pronunciation, <laughs> so it sounds like you should be going first. I'm still trying to get over the fact that he's got feet and inches as the height, but the weight is in kilograms, so I have no idea if this is a big boy or a little boy. I need to do video. the conversions. This is going to be such a long video. I'm not sure I can do this. <laughs> I, wait, I wait months to do the video, and the first one I have is Kev talking about, like, imperial measurement. Is that imperial or metric? One of them. It's America! Truck, yeah! Pick one. Don't do the combination yeah, of the two. Say, it's hideous. It's both. It's both. Yeah, you are. That's what's Again. upsetting me. Zealand's brought us to his channel to rate the, the Wonder Kids. Uh, rate the Wonder right. Kids. I'm going, I'm going down the middle. We'll st I'm just going to give him a five, and he's only there because of his name. Why have you been here? I hate that he's here. Why I don't know chat? if he's Why any we good. Get... Oh, look at the... There's so much data on the screen. Look, he's got... It's all in the wrong place. He's used a skin, hasn't he? Oh, I like his distance covered per 90 minutes. <laughs> He's That's a number. You don't, I don't, you don't even know the game's like long until now. 14.7 uh, kilometers is actually very high. <laughs> That's great. To there you go. Stuff. See, I picked it. See, I know what I'm doing. I picked out a good stat. You're welcome. This, what division is this? Is this the, the Premier League in Portugal? I guess it is because they're in the Europa Conference League at the same time. Yeah. I, I, so, I think this guy's actually pretty good. He's uh, he's uh, he, he runs all the time. He's very aggressive and determined and a lot of work rate and stamina. He gets around. Yeah, he's fast with good aggression, really good uh, work rate. I, 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 the only thing that worries me is a 7.09 rating for the current season, which is, a, which is potentially a little bit low. But um, based upon the, you know how much money he's on and his ability at this age, he's definitely going to get better. And also, major sell-on potential. And that's what I really care about in this scenario. I'd love to know how much he bought him for. 200k, apparently, it says in uh, Stinger's tweet. So for 200k... I'm going to get, can I rate him, Zealand, please? Uh, of course. I hope you've been taking notes of this uh, summary, by the way, Kevin. I'm going to give him uh, seven and a half out of ten. Oh, can't even commit to a full number. That's okay, eight yeah. then. Fine. <laughs> I'm going to go with a... 
Seven. Seven. Seven, yes. final answer. This is a seven. And that means the average is out at editors. There you go. It's presumably okay. on screen and spinning right now. <laughs> Why is it spinning? Yeah, with fireworks. Why are there fireworks? Why is there a lion <laughs> trying to eat me? Why is that happening? Oh, my God. God, this channel's sick. Subscribe today. <laughs> the next one's from FM Manager Addict or Football, whatever. Little Luis Fernandez, inherited in a Pachuca youth intake, he played 82 league games for me by the age of 18. I took the LAFC job and signed him to try and win the CONCACAF Champions League. We beat Pachuca in the final, and Fernandez led us to glory with 10 goals in eight games. Mm, I'm already annoyed because he's five foot 10. That's not little, is it? That's insulting. You know what else is insulting? That anything over a 10 is green, and then it turns yellow yeah. when it hits 15, uh, 14. That's yeah, also insulting. He's made this player look far better than he actually is, I would say. <laughs> yes. And as a, as a result, I'm saying two, and I'm not changing from two. Kevin? <laughs> I'm just trying to work my way around all these different skins. You lot fascinate me. I d I'm still trying to see where you found his height. Oh, it's no, I found it. I've got his height there now. Um, We're making a different video to Kevin. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> People know I don't look at these attributes. So uh, the fact that he's uh, a four and a half star current ability at LAFC means he's probably not very good. So <laughs> no, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give him a four. He's a star four. in the MLS. He's mm. technically a one. Attempts overhead kicks. Mm, can I go to a three? I don't know. But his average rating's very good in the MLS. But in the respect to it, I don't know if you've got any American viewers. In the MLS, not necessarily a barometer for quality, especially when you've changed the attribute colors. Um, over to the American expert, though. Zealand the Cannon Shannon. Oh, th thank you. I <clears throat> He is not very good. He sucks. He's either footed, <laughs> uh, which is great. He's like incredibly either footed and has good consistency. But these colors alone are driving me absolutely crazy. He's kind of balanced and I'm sure he's a good player in the MLS, but I am going to give him a three. Also, it says competitive streak. If you're playing in the MLS, that just isn't true, is it? So, <laughs> anyway. According to Gareth Bale, it's not. <laughs> He's got five course. goals in three caps for Mexico, though. That's quite good. I've just noticed that. It took me oh, that long you... to find that. <laughs> look at you taking part in the video. Unbelievable. I know. Wow. The next one is from Flute. This is Sidney Mieni. He's currently upset that I didn't strengthen the goalkeeper position despite having the best goalkeeper in the world and one of the best up and coming goalkeepers in the world as a backup, of course. Bought him for 600,000 in the Scottish League and he's taken me to the Europa League final in a Champions League round of 16. Started in the Scottish second tier as my local team, Air United. Now, I've got a question for the host of the video. Yes. Is a 23 year old technically a wonder kid? Oh, I, I, he, because he's a new gen, I'll let it, I'll let it fly. He yes. still qualifies for Young Player of the Year at 23, doesn't he? No, he does. That's fine. I, I don't. I hate everything about what we've just discussed, but fine. He bought him for six hundred thousand like, pounds. That's good. That, that immediately makes me happy because, again, sell on value, massive ability, not amazing. Like I'm looking at his season stats of the screenshot that's been sent in in November. Thirteen starts, four goals, three assists. So while a very good player for the Scottish leagues. Not really performing as highly as I'll expect. Oh, are we kidding? This guy's actually really good. Even Kev will have noticed that in the pros column, it says he's world class. It, you have to be. A I, that very was the good very player. first thing yeah. I saw. It, well, it was the second thing I saw after noticing that once again, height and weight are in two different. I just can't. It's horrible. <laughs> why? Feet why and kilograms. is that? Is that, a, is that a British thing? Why would that be the case? It should be feet and pounds or stone or meters and kilograms. Why would you have one in imperial and one in metric? That's madness. For the record, I don't really care. So I do. As you I like, do. <laughs> it upsets me. Sort of whatever in it. This uh, thoughts choices. on the player, Kev. This guy's really good. He's he's fast. I like fast players. Fast is good. Fat, the, the Basically, the only attributes I ever look at are the physical ones. I don't care about the other stuff. I'm looking at the fact that this guy is fast. He's agile. He's got high natural fitness. And it says world class on the screen. I give this guy an eight. Ooh. An eight. Wow. That is, that's I'm having him. I'd sign him. Would you sign him for 600000 I think I could probably bring him in for that amount. Yeah, I think that works for me. This man's a genius. <laughs> I'd go for an eight as well because of his value. One thing I will say is uh, Cons doesn't like big matches, which is fine because he's playing in Scotland. There aren't any. So whatever, innit? Whatever. Enjoy it. Enjoy your, enjoy I... your time there. If, if you have, like, the best team in the world, this guy could still be a super sub. Kev didn't look at it, so I will. He has 18 dribbling and 16 flair, 16 touch, 16 crossing. He's an excellent take on a defender and float the ball into the box type of player. I am going to give our friend Sidney Mieni, because I'm not afraid of the orange big matches. I'm only afraid of the red big matches. I'm going to give Sidney Mieni a nine. I realize I didn't see them. I've upset MLS and now SPL viewers. So uh, to, to the six people that are disappointed, um, 
I'm so sorry out there. The next one's from Safasfly. This kid Paulo here picked up on a free from Karlsruhe, been my main striker since he was 18. Went from finishing eighth in Eredivisie to back to back to back Champions League wins. Probably wow. the best striker I've ever seen, and he's still improving. All uh, right, 10. Should I kick us off? <laughs> 10 like absolutely unbelievable 20 vision as well as a 23 year old brazilian striker like hilariously good love him love him well done well this is the proper even though he's 23 and yeah that has annoyed me but actually as a result of that nine because he's not a true wonder kid i know he is though isn't he kevin mm. he is he is a big meaty boy look at those physical <laughs> attributes there is not one below a 15. Oh. i've just used my phone to convert his ridiculous centimeters into real money he's six foot one and yeah, I'm having God. him. He is he is my starting striker. I'll have that winger from the previous one as well, whipping in crosses for him. That'd be beautiful. Well, that's yeah. your team. Now, this this is one of those players. I think there's like 10 to 15 players like this in a save at any given time that get generated by the game. This guy's just world best 11 if yeah. every year if he doesn't get hurt. Like, could look win the, the ball and door multiple times. Look at the form, right? 8.66 average rate. He lost 20 matches. 8.66. 47 goals! <laughs> In 20 <laughs> matches, 10 assists. That's amazing. He scored four from one Champions League game. Yeah. Four goals from an XG of 1.47 in the Champions <laughs> League. He's quite the finisher. He reminds me of, and I'll just do this for the six people that used to watch me. Uh, Diego, it gives me Diego vibes. So good times. It's, just, yeah, and it's also amazing. Paolo, which is nice. Beyond how good the guy just obviously is. He also, he likes big matches and is consistent and has a model citizen personality. He's ever, what's his negatives, Elon? Do you all know what that means? Hate substitutions? What is that? Uh, he's not versatile, which is not a problem okay, because there's okay. nobody that's going to start uh, over him in his chosen clear, position. Clearly, neither am I. We're brothers in a way. Like, amazing. <laughs> his, Although, his big negative is he used to play for Cambridge, which does dock him two uh, points on my scoring system. As how? a Peterborough fan, can't be having that. Alone, okay, that'd be a so loan, though, from City, right? So he came in through Manchester City's academy and they loaned him to Cambridge. The fact that somebody of this quality ever graced the field for Cambridge, like obviously he wasn't this good, but that's... Yeah, he's got that Cambridge stench on him, so he can only be an eight for me, he's even though he deserves a 10. He's got 70 goals in their most recent league season in 2032. Seven, it's in another screenshot. Sorry, editors. Uh, but yeah, 70 goals. That's loads of goals. Well done. God, what analysis. How much did he cost? I don't know how much he cost. So they signed him for free. <laughs> for free? From, they got from it like, for free from Karlsruhe. A bargain. But why did they? Why did Karlsruhe have him for like? I don't understand. I don't what know. happened there. I don't know. He did. He know. didn't play a match at Karlsruhe after he moved from Manchester City, and then they just snapped him up. Uh, this is a ten, obviously. I mean, he has got the in-game editor, so perhaps he wasn't any good until he signed for Groningen. Uh, uh oh. Don't do this. Don't do this. Because then there'll be another. There'll be another Seriously. apology video, and we can't have another one of those on this channel. I've never done an apology video. <laughs> I've done an explanation. He's video. never been sorry about. The next one's from Mackie D3. His attributes speak for themselves. Signed at 18 for 750,000. Model citizen, next gen winner, Asian footballer of the year, three times running. Saved a penalty in the Champions League final. Don't think I'll ever find a better goalkeeper. Thai player, uh, Ben, you got this one? Yeah, because he's, because he's such an anomaly. How can you? How can you not absolutely love him? He's got. He's got again. He's sort of got everything. Um, annoyingly for Kev, they've gone for a mix of imperial. And yeah, Mexican what movement. is that? Is that a I thing that people do? I don't <laughs> understand. I'll be honest. When I saw him, that was my favorite thing about him because I knew yeah. it would annoy Kev immediately. Is it just um, preset on some of these skins or something? What is the deal with that? I need an explanation. I don't know. He is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal though. That's a different, difficult word to say. Uh, yeah, the, the fact he's won things multiple years in a row is not a surprise. I've, I've also I've seen better goalkeepers, but he is yeah phenomenally good. I feel like there's probably one goalkeeper in the world that's better than him, like in this current save in 2031. But he is uh, amazing. Uh, ben, would you like to take a crack at his name? No, Kevin. Natawut Sanmahung. Right, that's exactly what I'd have said. Beautiful. Thank you. Mel, the then. unflappable 22-year-old. A lot of model citizens around. You'll have run the experiment. Is that a good one? That's the best one. There you are then. And that's why he's been sent in. Thank you, Mackie D3. What are you going to give him as a rating, Kevin? I'm giving this guy a 10. He's awesome. A 10? Yeah. He's lost a the plot. six foot four goalkeeper. You're like, you're like the first. I'll have this guy. Dancing, mate. You've killed this now. You've killed I've never seen it. Just walk into Bro. a kebab shop and find a six foot four guy and you'll give him a 10. Yes. Okay, perfect. I will. <laughs> Depends what you're doing, surely. <laughs> not even nine. a little bit. He's a nine for me. I'm feeling he, he's not. I agree. He's going to give away a goal every now and again with his bad first touch. He's a tremendous goalkeeper. Any team in the world would be happy. 
happy to have this guy, but he's not the best goalkeeper in the world, I don't think. I, 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 th I think nine as well. I'm with you. Next, we have Arn Drizzle. Nice. Oh, oh. Easily Emil Ulrikson. 1.7 million pounds for Jer Gardens. Led me to my first title only had for two seasons as he wouldn't sign an extension without a minimum release clause, which Man City activated and turned him into the best keeper I've seen on the game. Gone on to win basically everything. So that's him at Ross Kilda. And then the next picture is Hello. We were looking at the other guy like, he's almost the best keeper in the world. This is the actual best keeper in the world. This is what that looks like. I wouldn't even consider signing this guy. He's too short. I'd take one look at him go six foot one. Nah, not interested. Wouldn't even look at the rest of it. Six four minimum for a goalkeeper. What's the point? Have you seen Edison? Have you seen him? Never heard of him. What's the point then? Stupid. <laughs> anyway, what I would say, and I want to really like him, and he's got feet and How do you not? How do you pounds. not like this guy? Do you just give him bonus no, points for having why. feet? And I'm the one getting mocked. No, no, tell you why, tell you why. Because as a former goalkeeper myself, run the clip. Uh, as a former goalkeeper, yeah, yeah we've got the clip. Come Fair on. Um, come on. If, as a former goalkeeper myself, in my opinion, if you haven't got some eccentricity to your game, not really a goalkeeper, you're a robot. So um, I want to give it, I really do. I want to give it a 10, but I can't because goalkeepers need to be a bit crazy. And this guy isn't. So it's going to be a nine from New Zealand. Thank you very much. Kev, did you give a rating or did you just say Eight. you wouldn't sign him? Eight. Eight, too short. I I will then be the only sane person here that gives this guy a 10 because he's obviously the best goalkeeper in the no, world you want and him to be eccentricity eccentric. is a bad trait. It's a bad it's not, trait. It's not, it's not, it's not. That's because he can make saves that other goalkeepers wouldn't normally make. So you yeah. want a little bit of craziness to him. But he will now, this guy will make, he is 20 in one-on-ones. He'll make every save he's supposed to make ever until the end of time. No and flair, he will never no eccentricity. Do Boring at parsies. So I don't want to hear it, honestly. He's not trying to unlock a defense here. He's trying to keep a ball out of there. I know, but what's this Spotify playlist like? Dollars dishwater, mate. Dollars dishwater. He's left footed. That makes him a little bit eccentric. So I think there's inconsistencies on the thing as well. What? No, that's not. There's, a <laughs> literally, there's literally a rating for Next it. Next up is Gentry Hayes. We have Demir Salimovic. Came in for 4 million and dried my tears after the wonder kid I nurtured from 15 departed to Southampton. Help me keep Wrexham out of relegation in our first year in the Prem by pitching in 13 goals in 32 appearances. 20-year-old German, Demir Salimovic. He's worth a lot more now, but 4 million feels like quite a lot, actually. I don't know. I'm wholly uninspired. Well, he's obviously not at the world class tier. The problem is we also can't see his star rating. I'll just assume he has five star potential. I know, look, I know he's playing for Wrexham in like the Premier League, right? Current season, zoom in, editor, 6.36. Oh. Get him off my, get him off, get him out, get him out of here. 6.36, I'm gonna give him a 3.6 because of that. Kev can't see the star rating, so he has no idea where to go with Well, this. no, I'm, I'm looking at him straight. There's no way this guy's playing up front for me. Stick him out on the wing and let him run around a bit and be a bit of a nuisance, but he's playing in the wrong position. He's only got jumping reach of 10. You're not getting in my team with jumping reach of 10 at center forward, three. What is the required jumping reach to be the center forward on your team? What, in the Premier League? Yeah. 15? 15, yeah. He's the most, honestly, this is the most basic man of all time. My issue with him, I'm going to try and be nuanced here. Is it that he does the same series every year? Oh, you meant the Wonder Kid. Sorry, <laughs> I thought, I thought you meant, I thought we were just going to roast Kevin for the next two minutes. But if you're, sorry, if we're still doing the video, no, I died. Yeah, I mean, this guy's trying to park to prim his way into our hearts here, but it's just not working. He, he is somebody that doesn't have high finishing, but also has very low bravery. So he's not like a pressing forward type. He's not somebody that's going to get involved in that way. His concentration's bad. His aggression's okay. So you can't make him a pressing forward. I don't think he's a good enough passer to be a deep line forward. I think his finishing is too low to be an advanced forward. And basically, even though he has some good attributes, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I agree with Kev. He's more of a winger. He probably should play on the outside. Uh, and he's a four for me. I feel really bad because he's gone up first year of the Prem, kept them up and scored 13 and 32. And he's probably really happy with his wonder kid. We've just spent the last three minutes telling him he's rubbish. So. Hey, he saved you. Be happy about that. But maybe consider yeah. playing him on the wing and getting another guy. Also, just don't send him into this video next time because we've ruined him for you now. Hope you're having a good one though, Gentry. Next, we have Andre Fernandez. Absolute beast. Purchased him at 17 for three million. <laughs> From Anderlecht, who was already one of the best players in the world then. Helped me win everything this season, including the Club World Cup, with an average rating of 7.7, .7, likes big matches, and is a consistent performer. The issue is, we don't know his name, because it's been what? cropped no, off of the picture. Don't, yeah. don't, don't care about his name. Let's just call him Andre Fernandez, because that's the guy that sent it in, and it sounds like it yes. works. With Fernandez here, right, 
I, what language is he playing the game in? Yeah, what's a uh, prodigio, but everything else is in English? Like it's prodigy, mad, it's it? like prodigy. Come on, think about so it. So is that, what, yeah, that would be Wonder Kid, but what language is that? Because everything else is English. I don't know. <laughs> Zealand, you've, you're travelled. Sounds Italian, right? But I did, Gio. Let me find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. It says Italian. Italian. I think it's Italian. It's Italian. Yeah, maybe he's in the mafia or something. So he's managed to find a copy of Football Manager that allows him he's to like, record he's that. Like a new, yeah, he's a New Jersey Italian. You know, his mom makes a nice chicken parm Prodigio, and he knows a few yeah. Italian words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's quality. That. Uh, yeah, I, th I think he's, I think he's fabulous. Yeah, and this is him at 20 as well. You think about like a few. Oh, yeah. So much going on. What a handsome guy Andre Fernandez is. I love him. He reminds me of Jean Monnier from 2015. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to give him, I'm going to be bold and give him a 10. Because I, really? Yeah, because again, at 20, this is the kind of, and also, right, the idea that you can just slot in a little bit further forward or slot in on the right is sort of like an inverted winger. Oh, he's got, a, he's got a bit of everything going on. Yeah, unbelievable. Kev? See, I was also going to give him a 10, but I can't agree with Ben, so I'm going to have to find a reason to, <laughs> to push this guy down. It's just not on brand, is it? I can't agree with you. <laughs> So, um, okay. I think he looks a bit dead behind the eyes. He's just kind of staring into the middle distance. So, because of that, he's a nine. That's the best I can offer. He's really good, isn't he? He's yeah. really very good. Just also, based on what you just said, I think the Lujo is a brilliant YouTuber. Thanks, Ben. Nope. Obviously, you don't agree with that, so that's fine. See then? He is a freak. He's huge. He moves super well. He's like the best box-to-box -box midfielder of all time. I'd love to make him a ball winner, but he doesn't actually have tremendous tackling. That's not the best part of his game. You can't really make him a playmaker in a world-class team, which is where where this guy would be playing because he's not a good enough passer to be a playmaker in a world-class team. So he's really pigeonholed to be that space-eating, box-to-box type midfielder in whatever team you have. I think that's really the only spot he can play in. He's not an incredible goal threat either. So I'm going to go nine what? and a half. I, oh. I, I'm going to go nine and a half because a I love this dude. He's a freak. And I love people that are like physical and mental freaks and then don't have a lot yeah. of technique. But I think as versatile as he seems initially because he's so athletic, I think he can really only do one thing and like a real world class team. Physical and mental freak that can only do one thing. Yeah, you really have. Thanks for getting me on the channel again. Honestly, really great to be back. The people just wanted to see Dr. Benji in a YouTube video again, you know? I know, I know. Um, if people want to know when the return is, I've got good news. It's uh, on the- Next is M. Fisher, my Barbadian wonder kid, already a winner, who helped me win the Prem, brought him in from Chelsea, and he's my deep-lying playmaker. Loads of assists without set pieces, because that's his only weakness. Still has loads of room. For improvement. This is FM Mobile, isn't it? It is, I think yeah. It is. Fair play. They're people too, okay? People that play FM Mobile are people too. We cannot discriminate. No, we, we, and, we and we wouldn't. Yeah, I, I like him. I, I think he's, he's, he's sort of like, if he was the first one he'd show him, I'd have gone six. Thank you for bringing us a baseline wonder kid. But yeah, I just like the phrase, my barbarian. Barbadian? Barbadian? Barbadian, ba yeah. Barbarian, I think I just said, which is probably <laughs> grossly offensive. Um, Barbadian wonder kid. Yeah, he's really good. The fact he won the Prem, who's he managing there? Is that, who is that? Who is, oh, that's uh, South Shields, right? Oh, it is, you're right. So th that's pretty impressive. Um, All in, knowledge. In 25... <laughs> There's a t shirt what, you can soon. read, and that's ball knowledge. No, you can tell the badge. You couldn't have told the badge. I'm just looking where it says South Shields under that's his contract. Yeah, that's where I've read it. And, and he could have done that, and now he's made me feel like a mug. Um, exactly. Yeah, I think he's a very, he's very capable, very confident. I don't know if he's confident. I've got great creating things about him now. He looks really good. Well done. And he was born on the 7th of January, 2019, which is also my mum's birthday. Not the 19, but obviously she's much older than that. For that reason, I'll give him a seven. Kev? I'm still dis I'm disappointed again that he's a little bit on the short side um five foot eleven stop having to go at him stop having to go at him. You, you're on his channel <laughs> you've not been on his channel for ages and we're st you're still going on about this sorry Zeeb. i know oh, i can't please, help myself please review the wonder kid please jumping jumping reach of nine you know it's uh, that that's always going to cost someone as far as i'm concerned especially the way i would want him to play in that midfield i like the fact he's natural on all three of the central <laughs> midfield positions that's oh, right, good sorry. i like that <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what ben's chuckling at I in the background know. and he's, he's a determined do. he's a determined man and i do like a determined man um so i think i give him based on the fact that he just can't jump and i can't live in that world he can have a six yeah so i just went i just went like you thought he was steroid free when you said i like the fact he's completely natural <laughs> <laughs> well i assume he is at 182 centimeters 81 kilograms i think that probably is steroid free yeah, i'm gonna put it out there darren yeah. king doesn't do steroids thank you bold, bold uh, statement he has 50 caps from barbados so i'm already in love with him and i'm addicted to the passing attribute in a way that nobody else is so the fact that he can ping the ball around with great composure I'm into it. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Wow, that's too high. You know what you've nah, done. Ah, he's good. You know what you've done. Determined, composed, 
50 caps for Barbados. That doesn't do anything for you. Yeah, it does. It, it, it does six out of 10. That's what it does. 12 work rate. Get out of my team. He's a playmaker. He doesn't need the work rate. It's five foot 11 solidarity. That's what it is. We, we can all see it. I'm six foot two. And six I'm going to cry about that on. later, Kev. I hope you know that. <laughs> All right, the next submission is from Ali Barnes, a Greek winger I signed for Aberdeen. He has just joined when I took the screenshot, but he's massively improved and now the second best player in Scotland at 19. Helped us win the league for the first time and get to the last 16 of the Europa League. A dude named Nikos Bletsas. The mm, thing is, he's quite similar to the one we had before, but I think a lot more dangerous and as a result, quite a lot better. It's interesting that you've bought, you've bought him for attributes. That's what I can tell because you've not bought him for his goal return. He got two in 24, I assume, in the Greek <laughs> league. And, like, you've not bought it for that reason, but you've gone, I play in this division, I need pace, I'm going to go and get him. 2026, pretty pretty fresh wonder kid as well into your save. So he's probably the first one you've seen that will actually join you. And so you're delighted to get him. Um, do we know how much he cost? Is that data available to us? No. I don't see oh. it. I, I would be, uh, based off his value, I'm assuming this is right after he was purchased, it was somewhere between 5 and 10 million. Yeah, I think you're probably right. I mean, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll start us off. Why not? I'm going to go for, again, a solid six, because I think there's quite a lot mm. of potential there. Great sell-on value as well. Very dangerous. Mm. But you bought him for actually. And, and actually, he's got more goals for you, like goals to game, than he'll ever get for his Greek team. Mainly because he's left them. But sure. Yeah, good, good purchase. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, ex he's, I'm excited by the fact that he's 18 and he's four and a half stars of current ability. I mean, I know you can't trust that 100%, but that is very rare. It is Aberdeen, New Zealand. Hey, I love I, I they're love the, the third Scottish best team in this. Scotland. I know. I know. Yeah. The, That's the point I was making. What's your rating, Kev? Um, I really like his hair. Um, I like the fact oh. that he's quick and can dribble. I would, I'd side this guy for a, a lower Premier League team, probably. Um, I'll give it a seven. All right, something we've overlooked that I want to point out is not only is he a good athlete who has a lot of room to improve, he has great work rate. He has 16 work rate. So not only is he going to be able to dribbly boy his way past people, he's going to be working hard while he does it. And the fact that he's 18 has the potential in the Greek national team. I'm feeling a seven. I'm feeling yeah. a seven. I like that he's naturally left-sided as well. I like that there's my favorite sort of players. Do you reckon he'll still have his hair like that when he's 27? What would it take to get you to wear that hairstyle? Are you considering making an offer? Well, 10,000 likes on this video. I reckon we can do it, Zealand. <laughs> right, guys? Um, uh, you heard it, we... Kevin Green. Well, yes. 10,000 no, likes. No, quite, quite wow. simply. Bring back the network game. I'll have my hair like that for the first one. Jack, wherever you are, <laughs> you know what you need to do. I can be Jack if you want. I can pretend to be Jack. I really hope that's the case. Yeah, hang on. Two seconds. <clears throat> well, Zealand, I think <laughs> that he's a really quality player, actually. I don't know what I've turned into. I don't know why I did it, but yeah. Get Tell us about Jack. his attributes. <laughs> no, I can't. He's got his COVID. I can't do it to him. <laughs> I can't do it to him. Right, move on. Get what I've Jack. But do you guys feel like you've been enlightened after raiding some Wonder Kids? I know, I know that I don't want to do the network game with Kev now, and that was something that I wasn't sure about. Ah, uh, so. now, come on. That haircut. But for 10,000 likes, I'll put myself through the anguish. So, up to you now, viewers. Up to you. Do you want it back? Kev does. I, I do. I'm ready. I'll do it now. Check out Dr. Benji and Lelujo stuff in the description. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks, guys. See you Bye. next year. See you next year. See you FM25 soon, guys. Don't worry. It'll be here soon, guys. Come on.